Welcome to the tutorial titled Anatomy of a SysView Display. In this video, we will cover the basic components that make up the default SysView display. Please note, your profile may differ slightly based upon individual customizations. Here we can see many different items and organizers that make up the display. Let's take a closer look, starting from the top. First, we see the title line. On the left of the title line is the product name and system name. The middle of the line shows the name of the display. And finally, the right shows the current date and time. Next is the command line. The command line contains two fields. The command input field, where you enter a command, and the scroll field, which controls scrolling behavior. Below the command line is a divider line. This divider line separates the title and the command areas from the remainder of the display. Messages issued by SysView will overlay this divider line. This specific divider line also contains the level number, as well as the row and column information. The level number describes how many levels deep we are from the primary option menu. The row and column information helps determine which rows and columns of data are being displayed. These values represent the first, last, and total number of rows and columns. After the divider line comes the information section. These areas may look slightly different depending on the current command display. First we see the system overview area. It displays a select group of metrics and conditions such as CPU, spool, and storage usage. Next is the status area. Within the status area we can see the format line. This shows the default format name, as well as the names of any other formats you have defined. The format currently in use is highlighted, and you can switch to another format by placing your cursor over the desired format and hitting the Enter key. Below we see the header line. Its function is to identify the fields in the data area below. The data area contains the data fields for a display that you have accessed by issuing one of the SysView commands. The data area is most often comprised of rows and columns. The information in a column is referred to as a field. The first data line in a display, regardless of which line it is, is known as the current line. At the end of the data area, you can see the end of data line. This line will indicate the end of data for the display. Not all displays will contain an end of data line, and if the data area does not contain any data, this line will say no data available. After the end of data line, we can see the filler area. This area is nothing more than blank space used to fill out the display. Finally, at the very bottom we see the PF message area. This is a one to four line area of information that you specify. As you can see, by default, the PF keys are displayed. 